Hey guys, um, this uh, short little video is just going to be kind of a, a quick uh, top tip sort of thing. Uh, something I experienced in the field uh, with the R5. And uh, what had actually happened was the uh, R5 locked up. It was, uh, it wouldn't um, fire, um, um, you know, the shutter wouldn't fire properly. It was almost like a machine gun. I mean, I'd hit the, the, the shutter button and it would just frame after frame, like 20 frames per second for like seconds on end. Like I couldn't get it stopped even when I turned the power off. And so what I had to actually do is remove the battery, hoping it didn't screw things up. I put the battery back in, restarted, everything seemed fine. I hit the shutter and it did it again. So what I had to do guys is actually, um, I had to wait till I got back in the cell range, get back to a laptop. I downloaded the firmware and um, reinstalled the firmware. Then I put all the settings back in and then um, I've, I haven't had a, uh, an issue uh, since, hey, Chris? Yep. Um, and that was like uh, mid-May, I think, right? Yes. Yeah, correct. it was about yep. mid-May. Yep, we were out in so, the field. Yeah, exactly. Um, you um, you saw my frustrations. and I did. Uh, you were really happy. <laughs> thank God I had a backup. I had my 1DX with me. So, um, so that was all fine and dandy. But the tip for today, guys, is to actually take an SD card download the latest firmware and save your camera settings and download that to the SD card. That way there, um, if this were to happen to you in the field and it happens to me again, um, um, no matter where I am, whether I've got cell service or not, I can pop that card in, I can reinstall the firmware and reinstall my settings without having to sit there and, you know, go through them all again. And I should be ready to go. So thoughts, Chris? Yeah, because basically what happened was, I mean, once you installed the firmware, all your settings were gone. So you basically had to, yep. you know, copy them from my camera to get back in the game kind of thing, right? So, well, and that's it. And I mean, yeah. I, you know, I, I knew I could have saved them before, but I, I just didn't, like, as far as the settings oh, go, right? So, I don't so, have them saved. Well, and that's it. So, you know, the, the tip for today, guys, is to actually save them both to an SD card. Mark that, e that SD card so you don't write over it or use it in, yeah. in the camera. Don't format it. And, uh, <laughs> Pardon me. Don't format it after you've yeah, done this. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And yeah. um, just uh, keep it with you because you just never know what's going to happen. Oh, for sure. And we may, we we probably all have older um, memory cards that you know we're not using as very often. So even if it's a four gig or whatever, it doesn't have to be that big as long as it can fit your firmware and your settings. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, it's going to save you for sure. Based on your scenario, if you couldn't get back into cell range and to your laptop for days. Really, and I didn't have a backup R5. camera body. Yeah, that would have been know, devastating, right? Yeah. yeah, for sure. And, yeah. um, you know, and like uh, you had mentioned before, Chris, too, yeah. um, it's not just DR5, guys. It's no. pretty much any mirrorless system out there. Yeah. You know, I would certainly just make sure you got a an up-to-date copy of the firmware and save the camera settings and you'll be good to go. And, and just make sure you check your, check your manual or check online. Uh, make sure that you, the file you copy onto that card is the one that the camera is looking for, not a zip file, not that's you know, right. make sure that's it's right. the actual, I think Canada was a dot FIR or something like that's that. Right. Like, that's right. Just what make it is. sure that you have that firmware file available on that card yes. um, and ready to go. Good point. Right? So, good yeah. point. Yeah. Cause that's what you have to do. We have to expand it, open it, uh, you know, and, and, and finder and then drag it over to the card. Sure. Right. You know, so. And, and Joe, so you had no issue with um, updating the current firmware um, based on the fact that you already had the current firmware there. It, it didn't no, give you an it error. Did a, it did an absolute reinstall over top. It didn't say, Good. Oh, you, you know, you have the same or anything like that. It just let me do it. So Good. Okay. I was pretty happy about that. So yes, for sure. So, so Good. guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this quick little uh, video here, but uh you know what, it might uh, save your bacon out in the field. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.